A very good morning, friends and family. Um, this beautiful, beautiful new day that the Lord has given us. We are going to open the word this morning and we are going to have a look at a powerful scripture. A scripture that if it doesn't motivate me or motivate you, then there's definitely something wrong. This is one of the most powerful scriptures uh, in the New Testament. Uh, this is out of the book of First Peter, if you want to follow this morning. Um, and Peter has, for the Lord, established churches for him, and he's writing a letter to the church. And it's amazing to see how Peter starts off this letter to this church. Uh, so many times when we write an email to someone or we write a letter to someone, uh, we give a, a quick greeting, you know, I, I, I hope this day finds you well, and then we carry on with the email. But have a look here this morning, family in Jesus, how Peter starts this um, letter to the church and, and just the way he starts it takes um, the whole gospel of Jesus and, and puts it into our spirits in two sentences this morning. Just two sentences, that's all he needed was to grasp their attention and to get them to understand who they are and why they are doing what they are doing. And so if you want to follow this morning, 1 Peter chapter 1, we are just going to read the first two scriptures this morning. So the Bible says that Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ to God's elect, exiles scattered throughout the provinces. And then he names the provinces, all of the provinces where he has established churches. Then verse 2 it says, Who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through the sanctifying work of the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and sprinkling with his blood, grace and peace be yours in abundance. Family in Jesus, this is one of the most explosive scriptures in the word of God. There's a, um, a, a brother in Christ that I have that every now and then I'm in a discussion with him and then he pauses the discussion and he says, Jock, um, I want to ask you a question. Do you know that, that you are called? Yes, I, I, I know that I'm called. Do you believe that you are called? Yes, I believe that I'm called. Right, carry on. And so in my life, he is there um, not only to motivate me and encourage me and, and, and edify um, and to stand by me, but every now and then to remind me of why I am still standing up straight, why there's still blood flowing through my veins, why I'm still breathing, why I still have the ability to speak and to preach. And here Peter comes, and he does exactly the same with the church. And I'm thinking the reason why he did this is, is it could maybe be because he was imprisoned and he was writing to the churches from the prison they maybe heard about it. They were maybe starting to get fearful that if our apostle is imprisoned, you know, who are we? We just beginners in, in uh, the, um, the, the, the movement, in the faith movement. So if they can imprison our apostle, what are they not going to do to, to us? And here Peter comes and he starts off a letter. And in verse 2, he says, you who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God, meaning that even before anything was created or established, Father God knew that he was going to choose that church, those people. He knew he was going to choose me. He knew he was going to choose you. He called us by our name. It wasn't a, a, a lotto system that the, that the Lord used where a, a big ball is spinning with names inside. No, the Lord knew 
in his heart every single name that he was going to call to him family in jesus i know my god and father god even knew who was going to respond to him and so that's the first one that he knew you know beforehand who he was going to to choose through the sanctifying work of the holy spirit i and and you brother and sister in christ we could not have come to the cross of jesus if the spirit of god did not stand still by us one day and first by the sprinkling of the blood of jesus touch our hearts and our spirits and our minds and our souls and our bodies and then it goes further why did we be called why why were we called and it, it it ends with this to be obedient to jesus christ grace and peace be with you family in jesus i want to invite you and encourage you this morning take some time in this day sit down and take this scripture first peter chapter 1 verse 1 and verse 2 and read it word for word slowly and carefully and allow the holy spirit to open up the truth of what peter is saying here to the churches allow the holy spirit to open up the truth of what the spirit of god is saying to to us today about this scripture that we are chosen by god that we are saved by jesus christ that it was the holy spirit that sanctified us that cleaned us that cleansed us that we do not stand by our own or on our own we are here family in jesus for jesus christ of nazareth we are here for father god we are here to be obedient to the voice of the holy spirit and we are here because we were chosen we were called we were elected we are here family in jesus because we each and every one of us we have got a plan and a purpose and if we stand still today in front of the throne of our father and we say father god we hear what the scripture says we acknowledge what the scripture says and we now fully with everything inside of us want to move in our callings and 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 with you the holy spirit to see where you are going to take us and what you are going to do in our lives amen amen let us pray Father God, in the name of Jesus, your Son, we thank you today, Father God, for the word, for the truth of the word. We thank you today, Father God. Lord, that you do not leave us alone. You do not let us wonder by ourselves, Father God. You, you are always there, constantly there, Father God. Guiding us, leading us, teaching us, motivating us, encouraging us. And yet this morning, Father, again, you are saying to us, I knew you before you were even born. I chose you then. And I chose you in your weakness. And in your weakness, my spirit cleansed you, sanctified you, called you. So that you can be obedient to Jesus, my son. Because by being obedient to Jesus, Father, we show that we love you. Because Jesus said, if I love him, I love his father as well. Thank you, Father God, so much, Lord. We pray that you will continue to be with us in this day and in this week. That you will continue to guide us, lead us, and teach us, and that we will continue to teach ourselves to be obedient, Lord, every single time that you do speak. And we thank you for that, Father God. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. What a beautiful day this is, Father God. This is the day that the Lord has made. And Lord, today we choose to rejoice and be glad in it we pray we ask all of this in jesus name amen amen and amen thank you friends and family in jesus uh, please remember today you are called by the name of jesus you are chosen by father god you are the elect you are the ones that the lord wants in this day and age to establish and 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 to advance his kingdom here in Altham, 
um, here in Taranaki, here in New Zealand. Um, so thank you, uh, friends and family in Jesus. Again, to everyone uh, that keeps tuning in, thank you for all the encouragement uh, that you give to, to me and my family. Um, hopefully we are um, giving you as much encouragement. So I hope, I pray that this will be a blessed day for you today. Until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.